morning let's do a quick one on how to uh, change the hard drive put your memory in remove the back cover uh, on a HP elite book uh, and it's a i7 pretty straightforward make sure you got the power off flip it over you got a little lock at the well that was that would be that would be locked okay so you just Pull the lock forward, slide the case back. This is an aluminium or alloy case. There you go. There's your memory slot, so you've got enough for another, that's eight gig. So whatever you want to put in there, got to be compatible. And then to remove your hard drive, you've got four screws and they're little, tiny. Just undo them, two seconds. I have undone them, just showing you for demo purposes. They're spring loaded, they stay in, but you've got to remove the battery. Okay, to remove the battery, you must unlock this one here and then pull this one. Yeah, I might have to use two hands for this. Let's have a look if I can do it. So you have to pull this back, and I, I don't know if I'm going to do this with this one hand. Let me just put this down. You have to use two hands. One sec. There you go, and the battery lifts up. Pretty straightforward, slide the drive back, and out it comes, and you'll see the connection under there. Okay, so I'm going to change this drive uh, for the simple thing is it is an SSD on it, but it's got multiple top partitions, and I just want to put a bigger drive in with a single partition. That's just the way I am. So I'll do this now. This is quite straightforward to change two screws each side. Focus for them. There you go. One, two. One, two. Drop it out. Put the new drive in. And then we'll slide it back in in a sec. When you've undone the screws, make sure that you remember which way you've took the hard drive out of the cradle. Okay. So, we'll look at that. So, all we have to do then is pull it out and then see if I can do that. That's it. And then we'll slide the other one back in exactly the same way. Okay, slid the new one back in. Make sure you get the, uh, well, you know that. Make sure they line up with the holes and then put the new screws, we'll put the screws back in again, not new ones. Okay, put the drive back into position again, like so. Push it home. Oh, I missed that, sorry, didn't film that. Okay, so push it back into position. Push it home. Oh, we've got your focus there. Oh, that's the last one, just checking it. That's it. Battery. We're in focus. Put the battery and back end in first. There we go. On. You see that? Back end in first. Push it home. Lock it. This one locks up and automatically goes into lock position itself. This is one of the most easiest upgrades you can do. Pick up the casing. In two seconds. Line up. Take it forward, slide it in, just do it again. Okay. So there we go. Line it up. Slide it in. Lock it into position. Done. That's it. So you do your memory, you could do your, your hard drive and your battery, and it's that simple. One lock, and that's all you gotta do. Okay, I'm just going to show you how I load Windows. Okay, I have Windows on a USB memory stick, slide him in, press on power, I think it's escape, and it should give me a boot option, I think. Right, can I see that? So you've got down to F9, you've got that in focus, yep. 
So boot options, so F9 you want to press. Where are we? FFF9, there we go. And then on this one, USB hard drive secure lock, which I know it's called that. So come down to that, press enter. This should come up, you'll see the Windows flag. And then, because it's a 64-bit 60, operator, just give it at least a minute, a minute, a minute and a half. Because you'll find it'll just, you're thinking, oh, it's not going to load. And you pull the USB stick out and you'll think, ah, uh, then you'll put a 32-bit operating system on there. It won't recognize, 32-bit won't recognize the full 8 gig of RAM. So leave it, just leave it a second. And then I'll, you'll see what happens. I'll pause it for a sec. There we go. 45 seconds to a minute. Uh, and then it starts to appear. And then you've got your windows. Do you want me to go through this? You can't alter the top one. You can alter the second one. Pan one up, USB United Kingdom, not USB United Kingdom. Go next, install now. The drive I put in is a new drive, so there shouldn't be any partitions on it, or there is one full partition. Let's wait and see. As long as I've done it right and it picks it up. Oh, is that focused? There we go. Okay, you accept the terms and conditions, you have to do that. Next, custom, it's only one drive, it's clean, so just go straight to next, and that's it. Thanks for watching, uh, if you liked it, please do a thumbs up, uh, like and share and subscribe, that would be absolutely fantastic. I do not have any Patreon or anything like that, this is purely doing all this for fun. Take care, catch you in the next video.